Let's move here to the Browns and talk about their schedule because they're facing the Dolphins on Sunday, which is obviously a pretty desirable spot, but I think it would be understandable if you didn't trust the Browns given how bad they've been all year. But a lot, a lot of that lack of trust likely comes from the schedule they've faced. This will be just the second time all year the Browns have faced a team ranked outside the top 20 against the pass based on number fire schedule adjusted metrics. And that's while facing the first, second, third, and sixth ranked pass defenses. And three of those four games were on the road. Once you take the schedule into account, the Browns actually do rank 16th in passing offense per number fire. The 16th ranked passing offense can probably hang a pretty big number on the 32nd ranked pass defense, as we saw with the Bills last week against the Dolphins. That game was on the road, and I think that should be enough to get us a target Baker Mayfield at $7,500. As far as stacking him goes, our most relevant sample is going to be the two games that Kareem Hunt has played because he's gotten a lot of looks and it has altered the team's personnel packages. If we look at those two games, three players have more than 25% of the targets and nobody else has more than 8%. Odell Beckham is at 33% despite facing really tough cornerback matchups. He also has five deep targets in that time and nobody else has more than two. Beckham is cash game viable at $7,000, and he is the top stacking partner with Mayfield by a significant margin. Jarvis Landry is only $100 cheaper, but he does have a high floor. He has 10 and 7 targets, along with 2 being deep, 4 in the red zone this time. The types of targets that Landry gets means that his true floor is higher than Beckham's, but I still want to give some weight to upside in cash games which forces me to favor Beckham there. I want to have the ability to make it up if I if I flub a running back. I want someone who can make up for that mistake, and Beckham is that guy. I'm not going to say no to Landry, but he's definitely lower for me than Beckham. Hunt's biggest role, I think, to me, is turning Nick Chubb into a rush-only guy, but rush-only guys can work in the right spots. This is one of those spots. Chubb is $8,200, and I think that this week I view him similar to Josh Jacobs from last week, where I am good with using him, but he'll be more of a fringe core guy than someone I'd build around robustly because he's not getting work in the passing game and that does matter to me. So Brandon, I rank these guys Beckham, Chubb, Landry, and I guess I would go Hunt, but I think that he'd be more of a uh, very much secondary option. I need a lot of lineups to get there. What about you with these Browns guys? Yeah, I'd probably rank them the same. Uh, I feel like everyone's going to be on an Odell this week mm-hmm. at such a reasonable price nick chubb not cheap uh, but this is a script where you can use someone like nick chubb uh and we talked about it on the recap podcast kareem hunt hasn't really done a whole lot to take away from chubb just the receiving uh, but the carries are still flowing through chubb and you mentioned that already uh so yeah i think beckham chubb landry is the obvious way to go would you use uh kareem hunt fifty six hundred dollars he does have you know, 44 and 46 receiving yards in those two games. So he's gotten, he's been fine. He's had 10.9 and 8.8 FanDuel points. And if he were to score a touchdown, it's a really good day. Uh, What do you think about him? I usually try to try only to roster running backs who I feel can get 15 points. Mm -hmm. Realistically, that kind of seems like based on his usage, the high end of his outcome. So he, he's not someone that I would hate to use, but I right. don't really anticipate building him into a running back uh, pool this week. I think the James White comp comes back here. Um, and James White at 56 against the Dolphins would be in play, but I still think that there are reasons to rank him lower on our list for sure.